got me own problems. Problems you might be able to help me with. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. So kind as to follow me. Great. We have to follow this asshole into the sewer. I'm sure nothing bad can happen down here, right? Oh well. Oh well. It's pretty nice for a sewer. Got racks and seating and all that. Oh, Bart! Not again! Bart. Bart, stop that! Now! Bart! Bart! Bart makes Ziggy lose, Jonathan! Beating your head against the wall won't change that! Bart, huh? Bart, less thinky! Bart, less thinky! But sadness. Where'd you get the troll? From Zerikania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot there. Siggy but take. Good, Ziggy. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it, until recently filled with Novograd crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Chorfun, go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff, and you will help me get it back. Why don't you handle this? Gotta have connections in the underworld. What do you need a witcher for? <sighs> the gold wasn't mine alone. See, I run a members-only savings club, a bank for the initiated. For reasons that should be obvious, I prefer it if my temporary liquidity problems remained private. So I need an outsider. How do you know you can trust me? I don't. Counting on your survival instinct. Slip up, and I'll kill you. Feed you to Bart. Bart, sorry. Bart jumped that good. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart, no. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Chorfun. Oh, God. 
take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Hole, no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. Bad look no. Only sleep. Bad shoes head fall. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. But. But. Troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know. A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, you hole. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Your phone gone. Bad troll. Now, now, stiff up a lip. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom! Big... Uh, this like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox, Fonce. Thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonce, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it... No! Didn't notice a fucking thing. Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life, here. Thanks. You've not to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Hey, Bart. Got a minute? Minute? Bart, no minute, Scott. Bart rock, Scott? Rocks want? I mean a minute to talk. You mean? But nice. One more time. Can we talk? Siggy you like. Talk me with. Why do you like Siggy so much? Siggy good. Siggy can't take part. He locked you up, alone, underground. Don't get bored down here? Not much to do. When Bart 
Not much do. But think. Lots. What about, if you don't mind my asking? Rocks. Rocks? Rocks interesting. Anything suspicious happened before the robbery? Suspicious. But no understand. Something not normal, something strange. Maybe you saw, felt, heard something? Yeah. Yeah. But here. Uh, like uh, a piece. His. What kind of hissing was it? Like a snake? No. A piece other. Not animal all that. Right. So, like what? Like... Uh, rock? A hissing rock. Mm -hmm. The hissing. Where did it come from? But... His here... In love tree. What? Well... Well, but... Turdy dump. All right. Let's change the subject. Good. But time got. Chorfon go. But God now nothing. Ah, thanks for your help. So long. Mm. Long. 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 Of course, we know that one of the people, at least, that was involved in this theft was Dandelion. But Geralt can't exactly go and tell Dijkstra that. He's got to try to protect Dandelion in some way. So, how the hell are we going to manage to keep that a secret to him, but still find out where the treasure is and all of that kind of crap? Hmm. There's this green mold everywhere and you have to use that antidote to be able to pass through without taking any damage. And now that we know, we knew a thing or two about what Dandelion was doing, he went and he was talking to that woman to figure out some stuff about Mole, and clearly it was because of this. He wanted to know how to be able to get through this sewer with this mold everywhere without dying. Crafty little bastard. Edges curled out. Something inside blew it wide open. Wall two. Hmm. Bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. Now why am I not finding pieces of it? Could be the current swept them away. Bits of pipe clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. There is quite a bit of backstory involving the character of Dijkstra or Siggy Rubin or whatever the hell name we're supposed to be calling him now. But a lot of the story is only stuff that I'm really only sort of aware of what it is and mostly only aware based on what information I was able to glean from playing this game. Apparently it was in, he was involved he was like uh, like Redanian intelligence or something like that. Uh, like a spy master. And maybe it was Redania, maybe Sintra, I don't, I don't friggin' know. But somebody that's not Nilfgaard and isn't, uh, any of the powers in this city. And he, for whatever reason, had to flee, and he was involved with the sorceress Philippa Eilhart. Now, Philippa went and eventually betrayed him, probably in some kind of a power grab and sent assassins to kill him. They didn't exactly get a, uh, didn't exactly pull it off because obviously he's still alive. So he has this extreme hatred for her now. And I did see this kind of a a cutscene from The Witcher 2, which I've never played Witcher 2, but I've seen this cutscene where I think it was either him or his men had captured Philip Eilhart and and carved her eyes out of her head. 
I think it was them. Somebody carved the eyes out of her head. So she doesn't have any eyes anymore. Now we have yet to see her in this uh, in this game, but we will before too long. The thug Dijkstra hired. The idea of having a troll protecting your treasure or your bank vaults or whatever the hell that was supposed to be in the dungeons and the sewers seemed like a pretty good idea. In this world, trolls seem to be a little bit different. I mean, taking certain liberties with the whole concept of folklore trolls. In one of the stories in the book, The Last Witch, Last Wish, rather, <laughs> Geralt mentions the fact that he came across a town that had a troll that had built a bridge and was charging people tolls to cross it, and it's sort of like a common folklore thing. And so Geralt shows up and goes, like, you want me to kill the troll? And they're like, no, we don't want you to kill the troll. The troll build the bridge and is maintaining the bridge. It's cheaper just to pay the toll than to, than to um, kill the troll and then have to take care of it. So it seems like trolls, for the most part, are actually kind of harmless. They're big and hard to, hard to kill and strong and all that kind of stuff. But they don't seem to be extraordinarily hostile. So they uh, they don't seem to live normal in normal human society in any way because they're kind of stupid. I mean, they look like rocks and they're dumb as rocks, but they do have at least enough intelligence to be able to speak and are capable of doing like crap like building the bridges or this one did a shit job of guard duty, but still they're capable of some stuff. So I'm guessing you're not a thing that people have an enormous amount of fear of. I mean, this one, Dijkstra was just keeping it in his basement. It wasn't locked up or anything like that, and it seems to be perfectly content to just to spend all of its time down there doing nothing. I mean, you think it would get bored, but it's like, no, no, think about rocks. Rocks are, rocks are interesting. That's, <laughs> it's, just, it's just funny, I think. Of course, they had to have the troll say something along those lines, because anybody who walked in there and saw this troll that spent all of its time in the basement would probably start to feel sorry for it, and to think in a negative way about Dijkstra, like you're you're basically have slave labor here. You're keeping this thing locked in your basement just to guard the treasure and all that kind of stuff. You never let it out or anything like that. So that's kind of painting Dijkstra in a rather negative light, but then you can sort of fix that a little bit by having a short conversation with the troll, and the troll says, Nope, nope, I like, I like it here. I like Dijkstra, I like, uh, I like my job, I like hanging around in this basement. Give me time to think. Think about rocks. <laughs> it's cheap, but I guess it's effective. Hmm, bottom of a container. Silver cylinder, most likely. Runes etched in the bottom. It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be. Smells like gold coin. Why there no oil down here? And time to see Dijkstra. Caramel. That isn't to say that I believe Dijkstra is a good person anyway. Dijkstra's a bastard. And I don't think he, they really go through a lot to hide that. They just sort of needed to blunt the edge of how much you're supposed to dislike this person. You're looking at a guy who's been rather successful in this world, and this world is, well, let's just call it hostile. There are monsters everywhere, there are bandits everywhere, there are wars going on all the time. Everybody's in danger in one way or another. And that sort of gives people a certain kind of grit that in the real world, or at least in the real modern world, you're not going to see in a lot of people. So Dijkstra is a product of the time and the place that he lives in. So therefore, I think it is necessary that they go and they portray him in some way, uh, somewhere where you can empathize with him a little bit, such as trying to rescue the man that he had working for him that had puked up the antidote. Trying, he didn't put the most effort possible into rescuing this man, but he put some effort, and that gives you at least a little bit of a sympathetic view of him. He is not literally the worst person in the world. You are dealing with a crime boss, but he's not, like, 
just somebody who goes and kicks puff puppies and kills children, you know. He's a terrible person. Yeah, all right, I'll admit that. Could be worse, and he's just not terrible enough for you to enjoy the character. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Found a second corpse, one of the thieves. Threw up the antidote just like your man Fonts. A beautiful death. Anything on the body? Not much. Empty vial. Hmm. Wouldn't have left him behind if he was anybody. Common porter, must be. Knew nothing, means nothing. Dead end. Literally. Bits of treasure dropped out of the crates. Left a clear trail. You know, like the fairy tale, with the crumbs. Hmm, I know the one. Hansel, Gretel, burning witches. Very fitting for Novigrad. Trail leads to the river where the sewer lets out. Breaks off there. My bet? They loaded the treasure onto a boat. Yeah. A cart drawn by sewer rats does seem unlikely. And since boats don't leave trails, it amounts to fuck all. Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm. About as much as I'd miss a knife in me knickers. All right. You inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. There is a problem here. Dijkstra, he looks like a dunderhead, but he's not stupid. And the fact that he's not stupid can make lying to him more difficult. And of course, given that he knows, that Geralt knows that Dandelion was involved in this heist, it's going to be... Some effort that Geralt's going to have to go through to keep that fact from him. Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah. Bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four, and bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. By the way, what about Happen? Could have overheard you mention the vault, has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. 
Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes, ironic as that may sound. But his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters, spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once too. True. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen? Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman. Josef Schweik, brewer. And Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Impossible? Why? Old Coot's been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I'd not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you! Margrave Henkel. Now that name rings a bell. That was the individual that Dandelion had questioned Rosa and Edna about. They said that he had taken them to this person's grave and questioned them on a number of things. There weren't any specifics, but I can assume it had something to do with Margrave's uh, habits and mannerisms and all that kind of stuff. Stuff necessary in order to pass somebody off as Henkel. Now, you disguise yourself as somebody, you can sneak in here and then drop a bomb down the drainage, and then that bomb goes off, and then you can sneak in through the sewers and grab all the money. Now, I don't know Dandelion too well, because I've only really seen him in this game, and you don't really see him a hell of a lot in this game. But, I don't know, this maybe seems to be a bit beyond him, so he must have been working with somebody. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Yeah, you might know how to handle witches when they're brought to you in chains. What's that supposed to mean? That you're crap witch hunters if a witcher's got to do your hunting for you. Don't you be telling us how to do our jobs, got it? Actually, think I could tell you a thing or two. It's not just Marigold. I've also tracked down Philippa Eilhart. I'll get you for this, you... Shut your gob, Ginger Ho! And you spit it out! Where's Eilhart? 